Alright, what's up YouTube? Welcome back! And it's another uh, review. I'm comparing two gloves that um, people have been asking quite a bit about. The Winnings and the uh, Fly Premium gloves about. Whether they're the same, it's a lot of people like this, a lot of people like this, some prefer this over this, some still prefer this over this. So this is my um, two cents worth of what I would prefer for now, according to my my fist and my wrist structure, and also so my 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 ergonomics of my body. So, starting off with the winnings, winnings are just beautifully crafted gloves, because what structurally wise. So structurally wise, the winnings are just immaculately made. They are made with Japanese pride and they, when they put something out, they need, they do it with pride, a, aka everything needs to be on point, Every need to, there should be no complaint, no problem about it. So the stitching everywhere is immaculate. You, you, you can tell they're real ones when they, there's like a re-stitch on the last three, re-stitch re on the last three. So I guess that's one way of looking at whether they're real ones, the re-stitching. The padding here behind your, your wrist is nice and dense-ish, so it's same here. So this, I, I would say this would be twice as dense as this one. So that's denser than that one. <clears throat> that is still pretty structurally sound. It is not, so here is a bit floppy, but once you get to this, it is pretty good. So it doesn't have too much uh, bend on here, so maybe that's the bit that kind of gives it more a, a better a wrist support sensation because I did find very I did find good wrist support on this and I never used the, the Fortress T1 fast wraps I just used normal hand wraps never did I once think I need to protect my knuckles these did it all the time so I, I'm just blown away that I found a glove with, with a price that uh, did everything just with hand wraps. I can understand now why professionals still use this for training. So that's been like four weeks, twice a week usage. There's a bit of crinkling here, crinkling here, crinkling here, but hey, that's what happens, right? And the inside, the liner is uh, smooth, so you can slide in really easily. No smell. Well, it's winter here, so but it but it just dries a lot easier. So I realize when there's a lot of space and no puffiness to cover the entrance, there's there's a possibility of air going in to dry it up. So how did I like this on the bags? I loved it in the beginning, week one when I used it. I tried to wail in on the bags, try to get some power power shots. And I did not feel any pain on my knuckles anywhere. Maybe in the first week or two, I did feel some here, but I really laid into it. I didn't hold back on, on like like well, like other sessions when when I knew I couldn't be protected with other gloves. And my wrist never got twinged. That's the thing. I never got a twinge or a twang when I just laid in. So only here, I felt it. But maybe just just me just hitting too hard. I shouldn't. So these are the points where you kind of feel it, but the knuckles, usually they're the ones that kind of send a message back to me that, uh oh, hold back on your punches on the back. But these, these gloves are just so nice. They're comfortable, easy to slide in, and I felt very supported in my wrist. I was quite surprised about it. So now go to the fly. <clears throat> these are your luxury items. The leather is just pretty so nice you, you you do feel like you're a bit like a bit of a shrink shrink a bit like stepping up in society uh, so, so these are the premium ones yeah and the leather even now so it's about oh so seven weeks of use now seven weeks or eight yeah no not eight weeks yet seven weeks of use and that's what it looks like still very nice very held together no crinkles at all like the like the fly so these have no crinkles so nice and look at that just looking at the sheen i i have i did use nice protective uh conditioner for it because i want to look after my gloves 
and 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 the and the nice red stitching that I, I like the extra touch on that. So again, this one, it feels like this is slightly. Yeah, it, it is definitely denser than this. It's at least twice as or twice ish thicker than the so the back, this is twice thicker than that in the front. And this is <coughs> the, the thing about fly. It is very soft in the wrist, so it is not known for wrist support. So you can see that straight away because this is one whole piece, not separate into sections like this one. So this just does go a bit more. So that's very top heavy here. So the thing about this, I did not feel too supported with my wrist. And also this is being 16 ounce. There was way too much space in here for me. So that felt very snug, like a, a glove almost custom made for me. 14 ounce, the wrist fit my kind of a thinner. So the winnings fit my thinner wrist very snugly. This, I don't know whether because it's 16 ounce or it's just a design of a fly. There's a lot of room for my thing to move in. But when you slide in, it's just like a red carpet, like gala. It's so nice, like satinish kind of sensation, eh? So, so if you can see this, when I try and pull it, there's still a lot of room in my wrist area. I don't know if you can see that there. There's a lot. Of, there's, there's quite a bit of space there to move. There's a lot of material moving around. So when I do this. That's what it looks like. Yep. So this, because this is a, a lot softer, initially I didn't feel so much protection, but I guess because as you go, your, your wrist just gets stronger, that stopped being an issue for me now. So this one, not the wrist support isn't as an issue as much anymore, I guess, because my wrists are getting stronger. So this on the on the hand side, there's a lot of space in here, but not so much space that you move around and you feel like you're like not sure where your hand's supposed to be. It, once you put it in and you do this, there's no moving around. So there's a lot of padding at the back here. A lot of nice dense padding, dense-ish padding here. Feels like a nice protective guard. Yeah, that's, that's nice and soft, eh? That's a lot nice and soft. So it's just like one piece like that. So what this feels like, the best you can say is, all oh right, before I forget. So even this part, your grip, grip bar part, I realize everything is very soft, so it's not rigid or stiff. The best way I can describe this glove is, everything around is soft, pliable, and then the, the, the rigidness and the density that protects you is this part. So this whole part is where all the money is from. So it, it protects your knuckles. There's no way I'm going to get these. Maybe in about six more months, I might break this down a little bit more. These might get in, but I don't see me getting so much power that I'm going to get through all that padding, eh? Because I don't feel my knuckles most of the time. I just go poop, poop, poop. And I'm like, okay, we're, we're in holiday, holiday club, man. So I do feel protected with this, but for some reason, maybe because my fists are moving a bit inside, so that's why I don't have that uh, uh, sensation where my knuckles aren't kind of sore-ish a bit. Because, yeah, where on these, if I don't use that after a while, I do start feeling a bit, but this one, the four weeks, I never even thought, I think I need to use those T1 wraps. These ones I do use and it feels better. So these, for whatever they did to this, knuckle protection, hands down, no fight. Not no fight, just distinguishable difference. So there is a difference. So these are kind of like softish, pillowy, nice uh, sparring if, if you're inclined to. I use them mostly on bags. <coughs> so these... So the main difference for these two, this started off being an issue for me because it's too soft and I didn't like the sensation of so much uh, freedom. 
But now I guess with my strengthening of the wrist, I realized I did not think about the wrist anymore as, as in I need the support. So what I did learn from this is, this is where majority of the protection comes from. It's like heavy here. So yeah, my, oh, okay. And my hands start to sweat just leaving it in there. This one, no, this one, no, yeah. So this is good for winter, winter, when you want to keep your, your hands warm, you get cold too fast, like your extremities get cold really quick. That's a good winter glove. This one, yeah, this one just feels everything's like in place. There's no loose, fluffy stuff to um, cushion you. I guess that's where the cushiony feelings come from, the luxurious pillowy inside comes from here. There's a bit more to cradle your wrists so you feel more um, comfortable. And just, just, just the design of this feels more slick, more intact, not intact, like just no, no, no fluff, you know, no, just, just, uh, just everything's where it's supposed to be. I just, I love these gloves, man. Like, uh, I want some more. Just comfortable. Everything fits, my thumb fits in good. My fingers don't, that's my finger, so you just protrude out of the leather. So that's where your protection, so your protection goes all the way around. And so that feels like a lot more protection physically. Physically, there's more material on the outside. And this one just feels like it's it's whatever is, is there, though less, does the job so much better. So I don't know what it is. Is it because of ergonomics, my, my wrist fits in better? So that's why there's less uh, distance to travel from my knuckles to the padding. So it's less jarring or less uh, 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 bruising. This one, maybe there's more space and more sliding sensation inside because it's so luxurious. That may be the one that caused my knuckles, but what, whatever it is, I don't know, I'm just guessing. This just feels money. Uh, 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 uh. Come here, sucker. Uh, uh. <laughs> yep, so, so take home. My number one right now is uh, these gloves, these bad boys. Hoo -hoo no discomfort whatsoever wrist supported knuckles protected damn son where you get one of those from japan so anything else yeah okay so these are i'm not saying these are bad gloves but i've heard so much review about people preferring this to that or they've just got this and they're like nah i'm not going to try anything else the premium ones are luxurious items very nice leather Inside is like satinish, slidey in uh, comfort. Very good protection on the knuckle area, top heavy. So that's where all your your weight, your weight, your weight, your weight here. Oh, I, do, I don't know how to transfer the information to you on this. So the weight is all here. Protective, protective. Here, no protection. So this is not good for wrist problem people. This one just feels good. I don't know whether it's rigidity, the, the, the density of the material used, something. I just felt comfortable in the winnings glove straight out, like first, first, first hit on the bag. This one, I did feel comfortable, but I was aware of the, the lack of wrist support. But now again, I do not have that problem anymore about thinking I need, need more wrist support. I guess again, with more use, you get tougher and your wrist gets stronger. So, a lot of padding here, not, not good for wrist support. This one has enough padding here, enough wrist support, so it kind of just like ready to go. So that's my two cents worth. If I had to pick between the two, that one would be my number one right now. That would be, an, yeah, that would be my number one right now. Second, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm the kind of personality who likes to try different things. So I think un unless some one glove stands out predominantly against everything else, I don't really have a second yet. I do like using the Bayonetta's a lot because it, it feels also rugged, like, like you're going to your roots and like... Uh, so, so that may be, but because I've used that the most, 
So I'm just trying to keep using these gloves uh, for a span of six months, one year to break it down, see whether it breaks down anymore. So this very squishy inside, so every it's like if all you need is a glove that protects your knuckles and you don't need any rigid, no, no, you don't need, you don't want rigidity, you want flexibility in your glove and you just need this part protected, that's your glove. This one has a bit of rigid, ri, bit of snugness, so, but the, this, this part is just protected without, whew, you gotta try one, you gotta, tr if, if you're lucky enough to, to try one or, or, or if you're, um, in a position to afford one, I would suggest get one, 14 or 16. I think I heard the, the 12 below, the padding diminishes significantly and you might not get the, the protection for this. Again, um, hopefully that's helped, hopefully that helps. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and share it. It helps me a lot. I'm hoping to keep this uh, channel alive for a while and hopefully with your sharing it will reach the world and and beyond Mars Till till next time. Have a good day